Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be creating this uh, simple kind of splash screen you see, or an intro screen for your website. Um, again, you just get the kind of company logo or any kind of logo you want that appears there, and then it gradually um, fades in and then fades up. Okay, and then the splash, uh, the splash screen rolls up to the top. Um, all made using vanilla JavaScript, HTML and CSS. Um, yeah, let's get going guys, cheers. Okay guys, so once again, index.html file, an app.js file, and a style.css file. I've made these three and put them into a, a folder called intro tutorial. Um, let's get started with the HTML. So if we come to index.html file, get a boilerplate up and running. And then here, I'll just say, where I'm, uh, company, this will be the company name, whatever your website is. And then if you come to the body, um, the first thing we're going to do here is just do a div of a class of intro. This is going to be like our intro splash screen. And then within this div, we're going to say a h1, and we're going to give this a class of logo hyphen header, like so, okay? And then kind of into the h1, we're just going to do two span elements. So we'll do a span, and it's going to have a class of logo. And then in here, we're going to just say um, L I, this would be your company name or website name. And then here we do another span. We'll give this a class of logo as well. And here I'll just finish off the, uh, the text with logo with geo dot. Okay. So if I just open this in live server, just to show you how that looks at the moment, you can see there's our header there. Okay, um, and we, we're splitting this up in two span elements because we want to perform separate animations on these two spans, okay? Because there's going to be a time delay between them. Um, coming underneath this, um, I'm just going to put some uh, content for our background when the splash screen loads, okay? So I'll just do a simple header section um, in here, and we'll just do a H4. And again, this will just be the company logo, which you choose. Okay, so I'm just going to get this Poppins font as well from Google Fonts. Um, I'm going to choose the light version, this 300 version. We'll select that style. I'll get the link tag. I'm going to put this in my header section up here, like so. And also, I want to take, um, actually, I'll take that CSS selector in a second. I just want to link to my style.css up here in the head section as well. So just do link uh, to the style.css. And then We'll also just uh, link to the app.js down the bottom. So script source app.js. That's it for our HTML. I'm going to come into the style.css now. We'll just do the global settings. So we just say margin zero, padding zero, box sizing, border box. Okay. And then so now you can see all of our default uh, padding margins have been removed. And then I'm also just going to copy that Poppins uh, CSS. Uh, rule there okay so we'll just copy that and paste that in our global settings and you'll see now when i save this we get a nice poppins font okay so kind of underneath here uh, next thing we're going to select is we'll just um we'll start with a header first okay so we'll just select that header section um i'll give this position relative and then we'll just say left zero top zero we'll do a width of 100 percent windows width 100 percent and then we'll just say um, a height of 80 pixels like so. And then underneath this, I'm next going to select the H4 element of that header. So we'll say header H4. We're just going to position that absolute to the um, header, the parent element, which is the header here. So we'll just say absolute. We'll say left of 10% of the screen. And we'll just do um, a bottom. And we'll just say uh, one rem for now. Okay, so there's our header section there. This is the uh, text that's going to be in our splash screen. So just ignore that for now. Um, kind of underneath this, I'm just going to give make our uh, logo size a bit bigger as well. So just say font size 1.6 rem, and you can see our font size increased. Um, that's it for our header section. Okay, so now let's style the uh, splash screen. Okay, so remember we give this a class of intro here in the HTML. So if I just um, just say splash screen and under here I'm just going to say um, dot intro and we'll say position um, and we want to position this fixed okay because we don't want to use the scroll past the splash screen so say position fixed uh, I'm going to give this a z index of two we can just say one for now just to bring it in front of everything 
Um, and then we're going to say left zero, top zero, and then we'll say a width 100%, and then we'll say a height of 100 viewport heights, like so. And then I'm going to give this a background color of a dark gray, so say background color, uh, hex code 161616, and then underneath this we'll just say uh, I want to do a transition okay of just uh, one one second okay this is going to be the uh, transition speed that our splash screen moves up past the uh, screen okay and then kind of underneath this we're going to select our header section next so we'll just say this logo header okay so we'll say underneath here dot logo header and then we're going to say there, I um, want to position this absolute to the parent element. So position absolute. And then we're going to say uh, top, we'll say 40%. And then we'll say left of 50%. And then let's just do a transform translate just to center that perfectly to the screen. So do transform, translate, minus 50% minus 50% like so. And then I just wanna make the uh, color of this white as well. Say so color, do hex code F, 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 like so. See, there's a nice white logo now. Um, okay, so kind of underneath this now, I'm next going to just select our two, um, our two span elements, okay? So yeah, remember we gave these a class of logo, these two span elements. So I'll come in here underneath the header, and we'll just say dot span, uh, sorry, dot logo. And we'll say position. Um, and we're going to position these relative to the parent, which is the um, this logo header section, okay? And then with these span elements, we want to do a display. And we're going to say inline block, okay? And this will just allow us to move the uh, span elements, okay? And that should be relative, not absolute. Okay, and th th this inline block will allow us to uh, make animations on these span elements. We'll be able to move them up and down relative to the uh, parent div, which is this logo header, okay? And then what we're going to do here, we're just going to say for now, um, bottom, and we're going to say minus 20 pixels, because we want to fade this up in an animation, okay? So we'll, say we'll start this off from a negative 20 pixel position, and then we'll start off at um, an opacity of zero, so it's transparent, okay? And then what we're going to do with JavaScript is we're going to apply an active class. We'll say dot logo dot active. And what we're going to do here, we're just going to adjust the bottom position. So we'll say bottom of zero. Okay, and then we'll say opacity. We'll make it um, uh, viewable. So we make set that to one. And then we'll just say transition. This is our animation settings. We're going to say ease in and out. And then we're going to say 0.5 seconds like so. Okay, and then finally, we're just going to add a fade class as well to this um, to this logo. So the logo dot fade, and then we're going to say here bottom um, 150 pixels. So this will move it upwards because remember when it's active, it's at zero, and then we're moving it from the bottom 150 pixels up. So this will uh, make the animation go up. Okay, and then we're going to say opacity of zero, and then we'll, again we'll just say uh, we'll just copy this transition of 0.5 seconds ease in out. And that's it for our style.css. Now let's get some JavaScript going to apply these uh, classes and make our animations work. So if we come into our app.js file, first thing we're going to do is my selectors. So I'm going to say let intro, which is going to be our actual full screen. We're going to say document dot query selector. And here we're just going to say dot intro. Okay, so dot intro like so. And you remember that's just our splash screen that we've created here, this, this gray part. Okay, and then underneath this, we're going to say let logo equal document dot query selector. And then we're going to say dot logo header, hyphen header, like so. And then we're going to say underneath this, let logo span, okay, which is the two span elements. And we're going to say here, uh, document, we're going to say dot query selector all because there's two elements here, query selector all. We're going to just to say um, dot and we'll just say logo. Okay, because we gave our two span elements a class of logo. 
So it comes underneath this, we're going to next do, um, we're going to add an event list into our full window. Okay, so we're going to say let window, uh, sorry, just window dot add event listener. We're going to listen out for the DOM content loaded event. Okay, and here this is going to trigger a function. And what it's going to say, what, what this means is this will um, basically trigger this function, all the functions within this section will trigger once the, all the DOM content's been loaded, okay? So the page has been fully loaded. And then in here, we're going to do um, multiple set timeout methods to get our animations going. So I'm going to do set timeout here, okay? And then that, that takes in a callback function. And then the first one I wanna do in here is just select our logo span elements, okay? So say logo span, and then we'll say, actually for now, if I just, um, if I just show you, basically, if we um, console.log logo span, you can see we get this node list, okay? So we get our two span elements there. So we're going to apply um, animations to these two span elements separately with this next piece of code, okay? So we'll say logo span, dot, we can do a for each loop on this, and this takes in um, the span element, the individual span element, as well as we can chuck in the index number as well. Okay, so this index number would be zero, you can see here, and this index would be one, and that's what we're passing in here with this for each method. Okay, and then we can do an arrow function after that, and then in here, I'm going to do another set timeout method. Okay, so say set timeout, and then that takes in another callback function, and here we're just going to say span. So we're selecting our span element we pass in, and we're going to say class list. We're going to say dot add, and we're going to add the active class, okay, like so. And then our timeout, for our timeout, we're just going to say, uh, we're going to take the index number, we're going to add one, because remember, and then we're going to times that by 400 milliseconds, okay. And the reason we're adding one here is because obviously uh, the first index, or the zero index, that will just be nothing. So that's why we have to add one to this. Okay, otherwise there'd be zero uh, second delay for this. That's why we need like one second times 400, which is 800 milliseconds, and then two times 400. Um, yeah, you can work it out yourselves. <laughs> but um, so next thing, let's just see how that's working so far. There you go, there's our, there's our kind of animation working there for the two span elements. Okay, so next thing we need to do is um, come under here, I'll go to another set timeout function. Again, takes in the callback. And here we're going to say, again, logo span dot for each, okay? So same thing as above. We're going to, again, take in the span and the uh, index, okay? And then we can do, we're going to do another set timeout. So we'll say set timeout again. And then, in here, I'm just going to say span dot class list, and now we want to remove uh, that active class we applied previously. Okay, so we we'll say active in here, and then underneath we're just going to say span dot class list dot add, and then we want to add that fade class next. Okay, so it fades up like so. Okay, and then again we set the timeout for this. So I just again say index plus one. And then we're going to multiply that or times that by 50 this time. Okay, and then we need to do the final set timeout function here. Okay, so this is going to be, I'm just going to set this to two seconds for now. So we'll say 2000 milliseconds in there. Okay, so now that's that's the kind of animation that's produced. You can see if I refresh my screen, we get the fade in, and it gradually fades up like so. Okay, so now the final thing we need to do here is just apply uh, an animation to the main splash screen itself so it rolls up. Okay, so Again, come after this, this is our last timeout. We're going to say set timeout. And I'm just going to say here, intro dot style. And then we can say dot um, top. That's going to equal. And we're going to select a negative 100 viewport heights, like so, okay? And then I'm just going to set the timeout to this for to be two, 2.3 seconds, okay? And that's it. That's our splash screen working now. So if I make this bigger, you can see if I refresh the screen, we get our logo up here. And there you go. That's how you make a simple splash screen with vanilla JavaScript. Um, I hope you got something out of this, guys. Um, 
yeah, uh, thanks for watching. If any questions, just leave a comment and uh, or give me a message and I'll try my best to answer. But yeah, um, I'll see you next tutorial. Thanks, guys.